Mariners. What's happening? How have we gone from promotion, playoffs, an FA Cup run for the ages? And now, Paul Hurst has gone, and I feel empty. So, to try and make me feel better, today, lads, we're rebuilding the Mariners' Grimsby Town. I had to put the kit on, of course, you know I did. The budget is literally more than the club worth. I guess that's what an FA Cup run can do for you. And today, it is going to be me taking over the manager. Please, just, just hire me, owners, Stockwood, Petit. Hire me. Maybe I might stand a chance. But anyway, we've got to do it on a game for now. And I'm thinking we get the Mariners playing. Wing play could be the shout in the lower divisions. We do have two players in Charles Vernon and Otis Khan. And I mustn't forget about the legendary Harry Clifton. As the aims for today are simple. I want to win the Champions League with the Mariners. But... You know we're going more special. We also have to win three major trophies and take one player with this dynamic potential I've got on the game to the top. At the moment, I am definitely looking at Harry Clifton. He is my favourite player. But it might be a while till we get up there, so maybe a youngster could do it. We've got Essel, Tomlinson, Braithwaite, Bramwell... And Evan Curry. My personal favourite shout is Evan. Harvey Cartwright is on loan, but he's a Grimsby fan. As I've never actually seen the ratings on FIFA. And I think there's a couple of off shouts here. First of all, Toby Malaki is our right back. Harry is going on the right. His mate Charlie Burnham on the other side. And we do have a decent team. I don't know how we'll do in League 2. From the board, they actually expect automatic promotion. But we know there's no pressure on that. And the first thing I'm going to do is sign the contracts off. Kieran Green's getting a new one. He may be described as a Brexit midfielder that we've got in our team. Have it. I can't lie, even though we're not there in the table in real life as well, I do want to use these players. I watch them week in, week out. I can see there's potential in them. Or I can hope anyway. And I'm going to use most of them. That doesn't write out academy players still. And we do have two right here. Pretty poor. Pretty poor academy being in League 2, of course. Our budget's been bled dry. Bled dry. Curse you coaches. Them men right there have stole all his money as I've, yes, overloaded the attacking options. Firstly, because I want good strikers. And secondly, because we start with Forest Green. One of the only teams below us in real life as we only get a draw. Greeny with the goal though against the Green Club. How fitting is that? Green scores against Green. And halfway through the season, we are in the playoff places. Grimsby Town up there, but we've got to be careful because Bradford, Wrexham, MK Dons and Stockport, those four teams in particular, alongside Notts County outside of them, are the big money spenders in the league. We, of course, haven't spent a penny, but we've got one million somehow. Genuinely, though, how have we got that money? The only player leaving the club is Luke Waterfall. I mean, I'll take it and I'll try and find another player to spend on. As team-wise, our weakest players are Conte and Afete. But Cartwright on the bench has been recalled. It's put Donovan Wilson there. That probably means we need another keeper to keep Jake Eastwood on his toes. And checking our Academy players again. We can see we have got movement from James Herbert, but a better player than him is Archie Houghton in this academy. He can play so many positions. He could be of use to us. But for now, we're going to stick to making our own real player signings. And into the club comes Bio Palic. I don't know how you say his name. Australian goalkeeper from Peterborough. There it is. Here he is, our new number one. In fact, Bilo Kapik. He's joined, of course, like I said, from Borough. I remember him at Hartlepool, I think it is. And I am happy with the signature. He is going to give Eastwood a very good run for his money. As we're going to give it a run in the league. And see if we can get promotion. And before we check the league, we're checking the team. And we are welcomed with some very unhappy players. Anthony Glennon, one of our highest rated. And Harry Clifton. No chance our new captain leaves the club. We do have some submitting transfer requests though. Alex Hunt, Charles Vernon as well. He's just literally joined the club. I'm sorry Vernon, but if you don't want to play for the club, as much as I love you, Otis Khan is going in the team. We're going to be facing Wimbledon in the playoffs. They've got a standard 
playstyle. Don't know what to expect from that as we're at home and we get the business done. Al Hamidi with their goal, but Afete, Khan and Rose get in. Football's a two-legged game though, so we've got to win at their place and that is tight. I mean, tight doesn't get you anywhere. It does us, actually. It gets us a final against Notts County. Please, lads, don't let us down. On the center stage, we beat them in the National League. Oh, no. First season isn't a promotion. We will stay in League 2. David McGoldrick, he's literally too good for this division. And it seems Notts County are too good for us. So before we start season two, we've got to evaluate this squad again. Camille Conte is just moaning to leave the club and Michi Afete. And to be fair, they are the lowest rate of players in the team. I would want to keep them here longer, but we've got to get Bula Kapic in. Sorry Eastwood, but you are just completely outmatched now. And look at this man, Evan Curry. I wish I could get him in the team. Maybe he goes in for Hulahan in a little while, because Hulahan's getting older. For now, well, the youngsters at the bottom are growing all right. Bramwell the best, but we've got Aboisa, who's going on the bench. It will not stop us from signings, however, as we've got a budget of 3 million. That's actually... A lot better than I expected. And we are going to be promoting a youth player. Archie left us, so it's just James Herbert now. He is brilliant, though. His potential's going up, and he could do with a loan deal. And here we lose our first big player. It isn't him on loan. It's Alex Hunt. He's gone to Stockport a league rival but we are gonna reinvest the money and we have got ourselves a striker and he's a good one yes danny rose stays in for now but jack vale will be biting his toes it's a bit of a weird analogy He's going to sit on that bench as a young striker, 23-year-old. I still consider that a young player, as now, really, the only position we need is a right-back. And I'm going to waste no money in getting our right-back through the door. Ryan Andrews, we've opted for a loan deal. Welcome to the club, my friend. The same rating as Michia Fete, but he is 19 years old, and he will progress along with... Ma, I didn't even realise Niall Ma's rating is 65. And this season, we start with Swindon Town. I'm not going to mention Aldershot. Oh, wait, I just did. That was some good result, as we get a good result as well. Danny, Danny Rose, and Otis Khan. And after that game, I'm going to say to Harry, the captain, we need to get promoted this year. And that gets a positive reaction from him. It's good to be on good terms with our captain, but... We have lost a player. James Herbert has gone to our rival's Hull City. I've given him his chance and he has jumped ship. Harry, you have lied to me. 11th in League 2 for the squad we have is not the position we need to be in. We're also out of the FA Cup, I saw, but we've got an okay team. I mean, look at Harry Clifton himself. You can't say he's not trying. The rest of them need to step it up. Is it time that Vale goes in as striker? I think so. The rest of them, though, there's no real improvement. Still Evan Curry and Braithwaite increasing, and 3 million still in the bank. Let's get it spent. And I am going to spend big money, big money for a League 2 side. We need someone reliable. Someone who's been here before. Welcome back to Grimsby, Matty Bollock. He's come from Watford, so he's joining Andrew, who's still on loan at us. He can play at the side of him, and that is a huge player. Got to tell him on the training ground, though, that he's got to perform. And to be fair, it seems like he's up for the challenge. All good saying it, though, Matty. Harry didn't provide it, really. Did he? Oh, and oh, Matty Pollock. What a difference he has made. We could have won the league title, though. Port Vale, three points ahead of us. But I don't care about that for now. Grimsby Town are going to League One. Congratulations to the lads. You have performed brilliantly to get us there. Players in particular do have to be Matty, Niall Matt at the side of him, Glennon at the side of him, and all hail. The mighty Harry Clifton. Question is, though, back to the training ground. Does Andrew want to sign with us? Seems like he's grateful for the opportunity, but ultimately, we've been rejected by him for next year. It's a shame we won't get him joining us, but still, we've got Matty Pollock 
and that is all that matters. The team as well is definitely surviving in League One, or it should be, as another improvement we finally got is Evan Curry coming in. He's replacing Greeny, but he will stay here on the bench, as it's obvious as well that Gavin Houlihan did retire, so we need an attacking midfielder. Also, haven't checked the academy, as no faces actually generated, but a decent player in Nathan Jones. He has some decent potential, and I'd love to get him out on loan. We do have four million as well, so we've got some money to actually spend here. If we can compete with the other teams, though, I don't know. I'm going to ask Harry, what do you expect from this season, mate? Clifton's being optimistic. He's saying he wants promotion to the championship. I don't mind the optimism, Harry, but that is a challenge. So we've got to try and live up to our captain's expectations. We're going to bring a few players in. This first one is Kian Hayes of Fleetwood Town, signing from a fellow team in this league. The next one is Lintot, or is it just Lindot? I didn't see the name. Lintot, he's from Northampton Town. And a brilliant attacking midfielder for less than a million. Pedro Borges. We definitely built a team capable of doing some damage in the league now. The middle three, Borges, Hayes and Clifton. It's going all dandy for the lads at the moment and we've got to make sure he tries to stay that way. We also start the league season as well with Cheltenham Town. If you don't know the story behind the Robins, I mean... You don't want to know. They went over nine games, I think it was, without a gold. It's shocking from them, but they're still in this division and they are beating us. One of our old players, George Lloyd, scoring against us. That is a shame. Evan Curry does get one. A little bit of a bright spark on a dampening opening day. After that as well, Charles Vernon's asking why he doesn't play. And I am just going to frankly say to him, you've got to improve your performances. And let's see if he has been improving. He's hit the 64 rating. It's decent for Charles, but unfortunately can't higher rated. And Hayes, as wow, our team is improving leaps and bounds. I don't know why he's still playing or not playing Bula Capic. Why is he not playing in simulations? Wow, I mean, just keep the team as it is. Just keep it as it is. We're seventh in the league. I apologize to Harry Clifton being very pessimistic as we've still got two million to spend. We could put that into a huge player like we did last season, but wow, we've got some contracts to sign. And most of these will land the players on more money. That's just one of the positives on getting promoted. Checking in on the academy, there's no real growth in any of those lads. Maybe we take a gamble with Jones though, and Collins would have to join him. Go on though, I'll promote both of those lads though. And speaking of promotion, let's go try and win it. And what's this? We've only gone and done it go end of the season. 105 points for Blackpool top of the league, but the Mariners in League One playoff territory. Harry Clifton correct, as we've got a team definitely strong enough to get up there. Look at Jack Vale as well. He must be scoring goals for the fun of it. It's not actually, though. It's Harry, of course it is. Top scorer. 24 goals from the right-hand side. That is brilliant for the Grimsby captain. But what's this? Conte wants to speak with us. He's saying he's leaving the club for Bristol City next year. Yeah, there we go. The the transfer's already gone through for Camille. That's actually a gutting one. I do like the player. He's progressed with us from the start. But I tell you what, don't dedicate yourself to the team before it's over. Greeny's coming in to replace him. With that, of course, I mean with Grimsby as Huddersfield. Now that's a championship team. Villa Capitch's ex-team as our team has the quality. Can we do it though? Yes! At home makes the difference. Hayes... And Vale, the two players we brought in. As still, we've got a second leg to go, though. Get in, Harry Clifton with it. Him and Vale again are going to send Grimsby one game away from the championship. Well in, lads, you've done yourself some major justice so far. The job isn't over, but I am extremely proud of the group. It does, but doesn't matter what happens against Rotherham. Either way, we're strong enough for next season. But ultimately, what division will it be for the Mariners? Oh, it will still be League One. Nacho. 
Nacho. Nacho is the player to doom us. At the start of season number four, we've got to evaluate the team again. Oh, but before we do, Edwin Essel of the Academy is saying he's improved in preseason and he wants a chance. I mean, he's not from the Academy this season. He's actually got to 21 years of age. Sorry, Edwin, but I don't think you're going to get a chance. You're you, you're less rated than Charles Vernon. He's essentially a prisoner here. As checking the actual academy, though, we've got some decent ones. Sam Barber, Sebastian Thorpe with the in-game face, and Owen Walton. We'll have to see how they progress throughout the year. And we know we're a midfielder like. Conte needs to be replaced with 4 million to play with. So here we go. Starting business. The first one isn't the Conte replacement though. We had to go get a right back. Brody Spencer is so much better. Oh, I'm sorry actually, Lintot. He's actually the same rating. I've been a bit harsh on you there. He's a year younger and... I'll, I'll take that as a win. As the big player for us finally arrives, I think he's going to be good friends with Bolcapi. Same nationality, friends, as we've spent just under 2 million on Jake Holman from Doncaster Rovers. He's, of course, going to be in the place of Greeny in the team. Sorry, Greeny. As we've definitely built a team capable of going again. As Otis Khan comes to us right now. Boss, thank you for putting your faith in me. Even though we have Hayes here, I am delighted to be playing. I respect that, Otis. And that, that is why you're still in the team. Otis Khan, the international for Pakistan, in fact. As, ooh, we're outside of the playoffs. That's not great. And Ma wants to speak to us. He's saying he thinks he should be captain over Harry. I'm going to put my foot down here though and I'm going to say Harry Clifton is a leader and he's keeping the armband. Safe to say that's not gone well with Niall at all. He's 31 year old so I kind of don't mind him moving on just because he hasn't got the captaincy and oh we actually don't have any money to replace him. This makes me think, do we put Sebastian Thorpe in the team? I mean, looking at the size of him and the rating increase, it might not be a bad shout. I think we'll just keep him for now, see if he turns a corner and actually keeps his head up and focus on football. As Harry will lead the team still, and let's see if he leads these Mariners to glory. The end of the year, the time to either celebrate or be unhappy and we will celebrate being in the playoffs it is what i expected we were nowhere near touching portsmouth they've actually walked away with the league but we have something good ma finally not getting unhappy at least he's come round about not getting the captaincy but i've got to say to him one more time and you're out of here. We play a Sheffield Wednesday team as well. Never an easy team to play. And if you look at their team, you see Charles Vernon. We sold him earlier on in this save as there we go. We do get goals. It's Harry and Pedro Borges. Second leg though, we do have an injured veil. But we are the team to prevail. And we beat them 5-2 at Hillsborough. Oxford United have lost their manager in real life. We play them. And we have Vale back, hopefully, because he's getting player of the month. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. It's a collateral ligament. He's out for even next season. Wing play against wing play. And Anthony Glennon gets the goal. The Mariners are now in the championship. Dominating at Wembley. And second time lucky this time. Hopefully in the second division, we can make it first time lucky. And step up to the Prem. I think if we were to get to the Prem though after this year, it's definitely, definitely going to be a replacement for Khan. I'm sorry. Sorry, mate. You're just not going to do it in a town shirt no more. But the player to replace him, I just have glued in my head. Going to put it on the back burner for now as we've got a new scout in Ben Roach. He's Northern Irish, but as always, we like to get like three players at the start of the season from the country we're in. Unfortunately, no in-game faces from this, but hey, we've got a decent keeper. Logan Stanley are going to go straight into our... Well, probably reserves. Because you're not playing in the championship. We've got 7 million ourselves to play with, though. I can't wait to start buying players. Oh, my days. Just 
Just wait, lads. Just you wait until you see who is joining us. And you can tell how difficult it's going to be to sign our new main man. We're having to sell players. I'm putting that much trust in him that Kean Hayes, the man who he's going to be fighting with, or would have been, is now gone. We do, in the meantime, though, have West Brom as still. Contract negotiations are going as well. We do have an injury crisis. It does affect the game as well as Edwin Essel. Edwin Essel. What is he still doing here? I can't believe it. But one thing. One thing I have always been believing in. Welcome to the club for £6 million. We've got John McAtee back. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know how much I truly love this player. He's come straight in the office and said, thank you for bringing me back. Absolutely no problem, McAtee. You're welcome back. Oh, and that is some response. He actually believes in us still. I was absolutely heartbroken when he did leave us to go to, well, Premier League Luton. Can you blame the man? But I am equally as glad to have him back. Even though just on FIFA, he needs to carry us to the Prem. And this time, McAtee's words are really, really helping us. Again, the Mariners trying to close in on promotion. And our squad must be good to get there. Wow. Oh my, look at the growth we've had. Our lowest rated now is Anthony Glennon. But McAtee for a first season? I mean, he's changed to left midfielder. That might have helped him, but he is 75 rated. I'm trying to think as well. Would he count as an original? Because he kind of was. I'm, I'm clutching at straws. And ladies and gentlemen, does Grimsby Town ever not get into the playoffs? Crystal Palace we played a couple of years back as a League 2 team. Now, we're trying to face off to get in the Prem. One man who definitely believes in us is Matty Pollock stating, we must win these playoffs. I mean, <laughs> I, I love the confidence. As for the bench, I don't feel confident. We've even got a youngster there. Make that two. Stanley and Collins, we get in them in before we get to the Prem. As we've got to get something. Yes, Glennon. Glennon and Jack Vale have us winning at Blundell Park. Matty Pollock saying straight away, I told you so. Calm down, Matty, though. We're not there yet. We have to beat them in a second leg. And actually, no, we don't. A draw will be enough. Pedro Borges sending us to Wembley. We've had disappointment here before. I'll tell you that for free as Sunderland next. Maybe the fact we're in black and white might help us in this final. And Matty Pollock being a middle lad, he will love it if we beat Sunderland. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, though. Whatever will be, will be. And the Mariners are Premier League. First time of asking, by the way, as well. First time, Greeny. There was so many missed penalties. Clifton actually missed two, as it was a nil-nil game. Look at that. He missed one there, and... Oh no, sorry, he didn't miss two. He scored his second one. Sorry, Ma, but my captain, my leader, it shows you when you even miss a big chance, another one comes around and he has took it. And up these Premier League Mariners, but... When we look at the team, we notice that one position isn't as we thought it would be. Speaking to John McAtee, he thanks us and then says he didn't really feel at home. So unfortunately for us, our star man has gone. But it means we can get an attacking player in the team for the Premier League. Is that a blessing in disguise for the Mariners? A 34 million. That is a lot of money. But still, we've got a lot of players running out of contract and in the academy as well this year ethan berry we've got a decent player he's got the quiff he's got the beard and he kind of looks a little bit like me as when i check on the youth as well sebastian thorpe is 68 overall he's a brilliant player absolutely brilliant and he could be bench level he's gonna sit right there next to collins and in between stanley but although the good we know we've got to do business with money so our first signing although he doesn't have his player face is a big one for the mariners we've spent almost 25 million on ncisco 
the one from Brighton. If you know him, you know him. He's come from Frankfurt and, oh, it was actually 20 million. A brilliant player and an improvement on John McAtee. But somehow, we've only got 5 million left. Damn you, coaches. I know you're making us players better, but... Damn you. It is insane at the moment, but I'm not going to ask the board for more money. I'm going to trust in the defence with Ma and Glennon, players that are OGs at Grimsby. And our first game is a black and white derby, Newcastle United. I've surely got to try and get the fans on our side. We want a Premier League campaign to remember. We'll be playing a capable team though. Oh, and a draw. Harry Clifton and Cisco are two is high rated get the job done. How's Cisco feeling anyway ahead of the campaign? Oh, he expects big things and he's being quite cocky about it. I expect big things as well, mate. Let's see how we do. As at the moment, we are actually in the FA Cup tie. Feels good actually having not to battle for round three. As in the Premier League, we are just escaping relegation. Pollock won't be happy that Middlesbrough and a team he's been at, Leeds United, are in the relegation zone. Speaking of the team, it is mostly unhappy. Oh, and Niall Mars not having a good time this season. Season. Naz, you've got to step it up, mate, a little bit. Okay, he says he says he's gonna try, but honestly, can we afford trying? We're in a Premier League relegation battle, and we're expected to win trophies. Oh, and a final day win over Liverpool. Does that do anything for us, Mariners? Does that keep us in the Prem? It kind of does. It does actually, because we beat Leeds United to survival by two points. We shall stay in the best competition in the world as the second best Leeds have actually made the final. That's despite relegation, as Tottenham win the Carabao. And we have a godly squad. Niall Ma hasn't kept his promise, though. He's gone to 71 rating, so I am going to swap him for Thorpe. See if he goes up any, as when we skip into next season, the youth do get an increase. And overall, I am happy to take this into back-to-back -back Prem seasons. Oh, but off-season, we actually didn't get many increases. And Thorpe didn't get one at all. And this season, we're given 40 million in the Prem. That's not bad at all. After contracts that could get us another player, just like Enciso. Preferably this time, though, we've got to go for a centre-half. And before we get started with the season, we've got to look in our academy. And Joe Field, he looks pretty decent, but 86 potential maybe worthy of a loan deal. And as I'm scouting players, look who I've just found. It seems like Camille Conte still having a good time with Nance in League 1. Our signings are going to be a little bit different as welcoming our new centre-half. Cameron Carter-Vickers, I think that is his full name, the Celtic stalwart. He's going to come for cheap and he's actually come from Napoli as the other one as well. I'm equally as excited about as that a steal for his pro with the contract running out, Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. He comes across from Montpellier. Our team is absolutely stacked. We've got to watch Anthony Glennon now, who is another original, but he's not as good as Evan Curry and Harry Clifton. We need to take this team into the Premier League now and have a real go with it. I expect damage to be done, and we start off doing it against Bournemouth. That would be a great move in real life. Same with Grimsby being fourth in the Prem, but will it stick that way? With the squad we have, I, I guess time will tell. We don't really have much money left. Yep, six million. It's not enough. And how have we done? We are on the fringes of European football. Actually on the fringes of Champions League. Brentford and Liverpool stand in our way. Liverpool's actually our next game as the team as well. There is some big increases now. Once one goes into the 80 rated, they all kind of follow suit. I do like the realism of most of the team being around the same rating. No one being left behind as Thorpe I don't want leaving behind as well. He's progressed very well on the bench. So have Pike and Wilson. But it's obvious we need another striker. I don't know if we replace Vale or just getting some help. But it won't be now anyway. I'm going to ask him what he thinks of some help. And it's um, a typical striker response. I guess that's a striker's way of thinking. But but he didn't strike enough 
to get us 13th. Well, only 13th. And a negative goal difference. Haven't been checking scorers. He is top with 17. As Curry and Cisco and Jake Holman off the bench. He's got 10. Harry Clifton only had the 5, but hey. Is an 85 rated. And I'm sorry to Jake, but I think we need a striker. Especially now that we're in Europe. Grimsby Town have won the FA Cup. This time, well, who did we beat? We beat Chelsea. We beat Manchester City. Oh, my days. Who else? We beat Brighton. Something we couldn't do in real life. Celebrations going on all around Grimsby and Cleethorpes. As we now have to keep on going though. That's one of the three trophies. But there's still two more to win. And this season, 70 million. 70 million? Are you sure about that? I mean, hey, I'll take it. We won the FA Cup. And we are in Europe, of course. As the players that we need to improve. Glennon, I'm sorry, mate. Spencer's just reached the 80 rating. And that may have let him survive. Because alongside a left back, we've of course touched on getting a new big striker but actually none of them coming in no signings made before we play chelsea it's very risky but looking at their team what are chelsea playing at don't know many of the ratings of those lads but we beat them one nil Jack Vale with it. Deja vu of last season's results. In the opening game, of course, as our first signing is here. He's only on the bench. He's only on the cheap. But our new number 10 is Cucho Hernandez. And the second one that's giving me a good feeling about signings is Weijan Hadjam. He costs 27 million. And I, again, I hate how much coaches and everything take out of your budget. We're down to nine. And players genuinely didn't feel that expensive. He's only one rate higher than Gleno, but he's experienced in the Europa League. Hanover was there last year, I saw, as now it's just Tomlinson who's creeping on the bench. Maybe his rating goes up. I don't think it will, though, and I think we go with Greeny. Do I feel overly confident? I mean, judging by the league position, you'd probably lean towards being so, but no, I'm not. I know we've got the Europa League, and we've got Benfica, Hajduk Split, and Helsinki, the team that always find the way into the group. We've got to try and beat them. And how's the payoff worked? Fifth in the league. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd want Champions League football. Seven defeats is too much. But then again in the Europa League, Grimsby Town are first in the group. Nothing negative about that. The ratings as well. Wow, the bench. Cucho's gone up. Thorpe, Berry. I mean... Is that not happening with the first team as much? I would love another midfielder and centre-half, but as we all know, we're skint. And yes, Mariners are in Europa League magicalness. If that's even a word. We have Leon, and I'd fancy our chances. We push the league aside. Oh, but they've got a strong team. Stronger than IRL, but... You just got beaten. You just got humbled. Same with the second leg as well. And that was bloody at your place. And I'll take it, you know, Salzburg in the final. If there's one team we should be beating, it's Red Bull. In the league as well, we weren't in a title race, but that means we're in the Champions League next season. And hang on, we won the FA Cup. So if we win the Europa League, that is two trophies ticked off. This is gonna be good. And we've done it. Of course we have. If you think Vale isn't scoring against Salzburg to, of course, get us that trophy in the cabinet, he scored both of them. He does. And now it's the Champions League. We'll get to make more signings next year. And we've got a 30 goal a season striker. To think I wanted him replaced. I mean, Cucho's got some as well. But ultimately, we will add to that. Right, so signing-wise, it's got to be a centre-back. A centre-back really improves our team, as we've just got to have a round of applause for the, for, for the growth in players. Evan Curry is 84. Harry Clifton is 83. Villa Kapic was signed at the start, and he's 86. I genuinely love the increases, as money-wise, 77 million after contracts. All I've got to do, though, is send head scout Theo Bowman looking... Straight away. Just just get him on centre-backs for life. And we're making a big decision as well. We haven't been selling players. And yes, he's not a first-teamer. But Jake Coleman has finally left to go to Tottenham. As we are going to sign our new centre-back as well. Welcome to the club, Levi Colville from Atletico Madrid. 40 million, but with the sale of a player, we still have plenty left. And we needed that money because we're making a huge 
re-signing. Welcome back to the club, Camille Conte. We've signed him from Leeds. And the first thing we're going to say is we've got to get what happened before out of the system. He agrees, but he doesn't know what we're asking from him. And I'm going to say we're not asking anything in particular. You just know where we need to go. As a question we've got to ask ourselves before the Super Cup. It's a team good enough. And Cisco, Borges, Clifton, Vale. Oh. Fails almost 90 rated. Conte and Curry, though. We actually have an OG Grimsby midfield whilst we are fighting in the Champions League. I mean, the Super Cup didn't go our way, though, against Manchester City. So I'm actually hoping that's nothing to go off of. And I wanted to sim a little bit through the season because I'm not bothered about the Prem as much. I'd love to win it, but I don't see us doing that. Ooh, Derby in the Carabao. Sorry, but our rivalry with Lincoln City is on the afterburner because we've got a rival Batiste, Celtic and Feyenoord. And in the Premiership though, halfway through, we're, we're outside of the Champions League places. I thought we'd be in a fight for the title, but of course I'm not focused on winning it. And we are through in the Champions League though. Napoli is the team we face the there's a lot of teams I didn't expect in here. We actually only finished second in the group as well, behind Batiste. So in reality, we should have had Fiorentina. So first leg against the team from Naples. And I don't like the rating of Harry Clifton. He's starting to go down. And oh, we're going down first. Getting beat by a team with Sean Longstaff. But the second leg, Harry Clifton. With a brace, in fact, our lowest rated player. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. And after three wins on the trot in the Prem, we meet Batiste again. I think that almost rhymed. It's got the morale of the lads up. And Jack Vale. What a result. What a result. And the second leg, a draw. I didn't expect that, but I know we struggled against them earlier. And this time we bruised through. And that, all my days, puts us possibly through to one of the stinkiest semi-final draws of Champions League history. No offence, of course, if you support those teams, but I'm basically saying we've got to win. Javi Alonso's team, not easy to beat. They've got three youngsters up front. Are they good, though, or are they bad? Let's see. They must be bad. They must be very bad. When Spencer's scoring against you, you know you're in trouble. Are we in that final? Six goals. Six goals takes us through. That is genuinely incredible. And Roma, Jose Mourinho versus MWS. I've got to say, I still do fancy ourselves as the team writes itself. It's a shame Glennon never got back over Hadjam, but I don't mind it. We've got three, not one. But three originals in the team. And of course, we didn't win any other trophies. That's why I'm not showing it. I'm showing Vale, though. 28 goals. 28. And he's been here with us a long time. Conte with 16 and 13 on his return. He got the memo we gave him. He knew we had to try and win the Champions League. And Cisco the same. Borges the same. But it's not done yet. I'm going to speak to Harry again. And I'm going to say, can you rile the boys up, please? Oh, and I like like that confidence from him. He knows what we've got to do. And let's see if we can do it against Roma. Here we are. Here we are. And I've mentioned previously in videos where my destination, preferred destination, will be for Champions League finals. And yes, we are there. You might recognize it from that background. It's a little bit difficult. But Old Trafford awaits Grimsby versus Roma. Bit of a kick clash, I can't lie. Had Jam get us involved. The only problem really with this is we haven't had a youth player come on the journey with us. Thorpe on the bench, slightly. As Guiri passes it off into Oli Sanchez now. And oh, Billa Kapic, early danger. Save pulled out the bag though. Texiera, Guiri, Camille Conte. Sometimes you've got to dig deep. And here they are again coming forward. Camille trying to read it. Colwell with a little touch on. It falls to Curry. And Harry Clifton to break. My captain. Spencer to run as well here. We need a dink over the top. Evan Curry's won his header. Jack Vale back out wide. Harry with a cross. It has found Encisco. And Conte! It's off the bar! I have no idea how that even struck it. Still the chances there. Borges into the midriff of Unai Simon. But what a chance that was. How did that even get that close? Still we'll keep on running though. Here's Harry. And here's a run in the middle though. A good tackle had jam. Gets the ball into Encisco. We're going to try and keep going. Almost half time. We've got a chance if Vale actually goes into the box. I don't know. We found him though with a pullback. 
hit some man. No handball was given. I was thinking maybe. I was thinking maybe. But we're going to have to keep on going. Second half begins. Matthäus running through us and Colwell conceding. Only a corner, of course. Raspadori. Jack Bale likes to defend, it seems. And we're going to try and counter with this one. Harry, make the run. The Welsh lads linking up. We are around a little bit. Borges. This is good passing. Brody Spencer. Clifton. We've took all these on the journey with us. Look at the play. It's Borges. And it's a very poor shot. The build-up was perfection, by the way. And oh, I mean, Guri. Oh, my days. That's the biggest chance. He shouldn't have missed it, but we'll keep on going ourselves. There was a big gap open there for Vale. But we've opted for Harry Clifton. If we could score off their mistake, it's a run from Camille. That was a huge chance, and now Encisco's going to try and make them pay. Ball straight through the middle. Camille Conte, he finds Harry Clifton at this side. And Harry, man. Vale to the other side. Cisco can't miss, surely. What is that shot? These chances, man. These chances need to be took. Camille Conte. Could it be another chance, Lucky? That's Harry Clifton. This time, it's in the top corner. And he gives the keeper no chance to stop him. Our captain, Harry Clifton. Grimsby player. Not, of course, a world beater like in this save. But here, he's scoring in the Champions League final. Pretty sure he's a Liverpool fan as well. Scoring at Old Trafford in the Champions League finale. We'll probably feel great for him. It's come in the 85th minute. Lads, just push forward. Whoa, a dodgy challenge. A very dodgy one. And he's actually been sent off. Oh, referee, you're spoiling the fun a bit. Still, we will just try and keep this if we can. Maybe another goal. But Jack Vale, if he whacks this and it is saved, that is the final whistle and Grimsby Town are Champions League winners. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. And the trophy's already been lifted. Harry Clifton, he couldn't wait to get his hands on it. Black and white stripes on the handles, of course. Although he played in red. This has been some save. Of course, the team I support, I do appreciate all the support on this. As comment your teams down below. Also, subscribe to the second channel if you haven't done already. And I will see you whenever I do next.